Hey everyone, it's Aaron here. I'm at the Pensacola Airport. I am delayed for like four hours on my trip to Pennsylvania. I'm not gonna get there till like seven o'clock tonight to pick up my bus. But hey, we're gonna get there slowly but surely, masked up like a baby, whatever it takes, okay? We're gonna go get this bus that I won off of eBay. All right, everyone, update from Pensacola Airport. I got here at 4.30 in the morning. It is now, what, nine o'clock? And I still got about another two and a half hours before my flight takes off. So we're making it slowly with the help of some, you know, bartending. They've been doing a good job here. But yeah, one day soon, we will go pick up this bus. One day soon. All right, everybody, we just made it to Charleston, North Carolina. That was a hell of a flight right there, but yeah, we got this little fancy escalator that's flat because, you know, not everyone has long legs like me, but we're still going to walk it. <sighs> still got about an hour and a half before the next flight, so I guess we'll explore a little bit, but this is way bigger than Pensacola, so we'll figure out what there is to do. But super excited, one step closer to getting my eBay bus, baby. That's what's up. All right, so we got update number seven. We're finally leaving Charlotte, North Carolina. I've been saying Charleston this whole time. So very excited to pick up this eBay bus. It's been a long, long day. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna take some videos as soon as I get there. Enjoy. All right, look at this, baby. Look at this, baby. Here we go, here we go. All right, we're stuck like sardines, but we're on the plane, finally heading towards Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. So here we go. Just an hour and a half away from picking up my bus. Let's go. Here we go. Let me tell you, everything that could go wrong, did go wrong. So, driving it perfectly normal, nothing wrong, going down the middle of the interstate, or not the interstate, the, the country roads to get to the CNG gas station. Are you kidding me? Look at that. A tree branch took out my side view mirror and busted this mirror here. So, everything that could go wrong, Wrong. But the bus drives great. I will say that everything works properly as it should. Come on, man. Could I have gotten a little break on this? A little bit of a break? All right, guys. So we got update number what? Nine or ten? It is an old crazy last like 12 hours. So like about had a mental breakdown because a tree branch sometime at night because I was having to drive to the hotel because my flight was delayed. Tree branch took out my side view mirror, so I'm gonna have to get that replaced and tires are 10 years old so obviously i was going to come to the tire shop anyways on um, these guys here hinai's tires they're gonna hook me up real quick but yeah uh this is definitely turning into a road trip for the memory book that's for sure all right update number 11 so went to a truck supplier store and they hooked me up with a temporary mirror only thing that kind of sucks is you can see it's pretty loose so all right, everybody, so we're still at the tire shop. It is what it is, it's gonna be a long trip, but they've got the tires coming in now and I've been doing some exploring, so let me flip it around. So check this out here. I've got this handy dandy little driver's closet and look at that, I don't know, we've got a little storage there. This is locked, but I guess it's a giant storage. I don't know, we'll find that out later. And everything's ripped out. So, the great thing is the ceiling height in here. I mean, it is incredibly tall. It's at least a seven foot ceiling. Actually, excuse me, an eight foot ceiling. And yeah, half the work of stripping everything out is done. This is the rear AC system. 
So it already comes with AC. Just got to figure out all these controls here. 30 amp service. There's your little breaker box diagnostics or breakdown there. From the looks of it, I mean, everything's already pre-mounted. So, you know, installing cabinets, hardware, doing plumbing. There's plenty of room to do that. It even comes with a broom so I can sweep the dirt out of here if we ever get down the road. All right, guys, I got an update that I just realized. I want you guys to take a real close look at how long this arm is for the side view mirror. So even if that thing fully extended, it should have hit right dead center. Now look at the shape of this crack. While I was going down that dirt road, or that country road, late at night, right as it was about to get dark, this is a bullet hole. This isn't from a side view mirror with a plastic cover hitting. That's that's a bullet hole. Someone, while I was going down that country road, I guess past their house or their farm, tried to take me out. And it looks like they were a millisecond away from actually hitting me. You know, this, this trip has just gotten a lot more intense. The stakes are raised. All right, guys. Update. 13, we are finally on the road, baby. We're on the road. I'm going insane, but it's raining outside like nonstop. And these windshield wipers suck. So I'm over here at Walmart over in York trying to get some new windshield wipers on before I hit the road. But finally I had to go put three gallons of coolant in the engine. Finally got the transmission working. We finally can get on the highway speeds and get home, baby. All right, guys, update number 14. We made it to Lynchburg, Virginia. That's about 2.30 in the morning. Bus is actually running really good. Um, the coolant seemed to fix the problem. So while it was a horrible start to the trip, things seem to be going pretty smoothly now. Weather's cleared up. I um, haven't hit any deer, so we're going to start heading towards Knoxville, Tennessee now. So stay tuned. Good morning, everybody. It's been a long night. Drove all the way through. So got all the way from York, Pennsylvania to Knoxville, Tennessee in about 11 hours. I would say because it took about an hour and a half break and fuel ups and stuff like that. But hey, we're in Knoxville now. That's what's up. All right, guys. Welcome to Knoxville, Tennessee's CNG station. So drove all the way through the night. I will say this. Be back. Drove wonderful. Once we got all the faults and all the issues worked out, that was a pleasure to drive. Only thing that was a problem was it had a a speed limiter to 65 miles an hour so it took a little bit longer than I thought but handles really well very glad that I put up with those first two days of hell so if you're curious this is what a CNG pump looks like it's quite literally what you do with a um, air balloon rig for helium it's just compressed natural gas so you plug in this fancy hose here makes a lot of noise and it forces a bunch of compressed natural gas into your tanks which on this particular unit are up here on the ceiling but yeah pretty cool process it gives it way better gas mileage than i thought i think i've been averaging like seven to eight miles per gallon the whole trip like every time i've gone somewhere i hadn't even been empty so you can see right here i got some gorilla tape right there holding up my bullet hole it's worked pretty well so far. Um, gotta admit, it was a little cold on the way back because it was like 45 degrees and this bus is not insulated very well and I did not bring the proper clothing. But yeah, it's been a... Actually, I've really enjoyed it, but more than anything right now, I just want some sleep. All right, guys, so here we are at the Common Service Facility in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're gonna have them do a couple little quick checks. Should be good, but hey, always make sure. So check it out, guys. Be back was in a perfect bill of health. Whatever problems I had at the beginning, I must have worked them through or uh, just hadn't been awake in a while and just was a little bit of a sleepy head. But all the codes were cleared and they were inactive and all the fluids were good. So hey, safe to take it home. So that's where we're going, baby. Home! So if anyone asks, I am very environmentally friendly. In fact, I took the bus to work today and it runs off natural gas. So come on, Joe Biden. I need some stimulus money. Help me out here.